Hey guys, um, I was just sitting here uploading a video and I thought I would get on here. I realized when I made the, or when we made the video the other day that I didn't make an intro or like an exit to the video. So I was just going to explain a little bit of what the video is about. Um, we are actually watching them cut down all of our trees over at the land. Um, I guess most of you saw the video where we got a lot of tornado damage back um, back in the spring and uh, we lost so many trees that they have actually decided to clear cut the land here so they are um, currently outside of our window cutting down all of our trees so it's it's so sad to see them go and we hate that you know that had to be the outcome of that situation but it really has opened up you know our view and it is gorgeous outside so I've just been sitting here um, working on a little bit of stuff um, trying to get some ideas for future videos and blog posts and just you know trying to figure out where this channel is going because we started out documenting um, us building the shipping container and several people have wondered what has happened to that and if that is still a goal of ours and yes eventually we want to finish the shipping container but that is just not something that we are obviously that we are working on right now um, we uh, do not want to be in debt so we are trying to get out of debt that we were previously in but also um, not accumulate more debt building the tiny house because our goal is to live a very simplistic minimalist and self-sustainable lifestyle and you know we don't want to start out by jumping into debt to begin that lifestyle so you know the camper serves its purpose right now and we're you know completely content living in it and we know that you know this you know like I said it serves its purpose and we enjoy being in this space so that is just what we're doing right now and we're just continuing to you know follow along with whatever you know we need to at that time so right now you know the container is in the same condition it's it was in the last video you saw we haven't you know continued work on it but we've also you know we finished my studio space part of it on um, the yoga studio room has not been completed yet but I do have my outdoor um, uh, pavilion finished to start teaching classes outside so you know we have just switched priorities a little bit and you know there's nothing wrong with that we've just moved on to something else that that serves us right now but um anyways um we did a video that you're fixing to watch of like a um like pantry tour food tour I'm not sure what you would call it but um we get asked how do we store food in the camper you know do we go grocery shopping a lot do you have to go grocery shopping a lot because you can't store a lot of food like you know how does that work out and um, also I get questions a lot you know being plant-based what do I eat so um, this is just a little bit of a tour of what we eat, what we keep here in the camper. I go grocery shopping once a week, usually um, on Friday and on Saturday. Well, Friday or Saturday, I'll go grocery shopping. And um, I usually, every week, no matter what, I go shopping at Aldi. That is my main source for groceries. That is what... I plan my entire menu, my entire budget around Aldi's. And um, every other week we will go to Walmart, you know, or Publix or somewhere like that because Aldi doesn't have um, like the dairy free yogurt that Sky enjoys. And there's uh, just a few other little things that we can't get at Aldi that we will go pick up at Walmart. But, um, also this time of year I love farmers markets so we will usually start our Saturday morning going to the farmers markets and seeing what's available there we will shop there and um, I will uh, kind of see what's available at the farmers market and I can kind of get some ideas of what I'm gonna fix throughout the week 
and then from that point we will go to Aldi. Um, I used to plan, you know, a menu down to the T of what we would eat for breakfast, what we would eat for lunch, what we would eat for dinner, and I would pre like prep a bunch of things and pre-cook a bunch of things. I no longer do that because we eat more intuitively and Skye very much has an opinion on what she wants to eat and it's usually stuff that you know if she comes in for lunch and wants a smoothie I have no problem making her that smoothie for lunch so um, we just kind of eat more intuitively and um, I go back and forth between uh, practicing intermittent fasting so sometimes I eat breakfast sometimes I don't it really just depends on um, when uh, I leave the gym, how I feel, sometimes I'll come home and juice, sometimes I'll come home and eat oatmeal. It just depends on, you know, how I'm feeling and what I feel like my body needs that day. So we practice, you know, intuitive eating, eating when you're hungry, stopping when you're full, and just, you know, your body gives you signs and your body craves certain things for a reason. So, um, this is a little bit of a um, video on just what we keep in the camper, how we store things, which is not organized <laughs> at all, but um, just kind of like some, you know, ideas on the foods that we buy and things like that. So, I love watching just, when I watch YouTube, I love watching tours and vlogs and things like that, so that's what I'm more gravitated to, to film but you know whatever you guys want to see just leave me a comment and um, you know we can do that so I just wanted to give a little intro to this video before it gets started on you know what it is because I realized I just literally we started filming and then just cut it off so um, I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend and um, you know, if there's anything else you want to see on our tiny lifestyle, just feel free to leave me a comment. Um, I'm going to start putting our social media accounts in the description below in the um, down tab. So, um, my Instagram account, um, then our uh, my blog site, um, I will link in the description below. So, you know, if you want to follow us on other uh, forms of social media. but. If you guys have any ideas for videos you would like to see or questions that you have about, you know, our lifestyle, about our fitness decisions, about, you know, religion, yoga, anything in general, um, just, you know, leave, a, leave me a comment and, um, you know, please share our videos and like our videos and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out and it, you know, it's just reassuring to know that people do enjoy the content that we put out. So this is just something we feel led to do right now in this season. So we're just going to keep on with the videos no matter if there's two or three views or two or three hundred views. It's just what we're going to keep doing. So um, yeah, but whatever you guys want to see, just let us know. And um, enjoyed the video if you have any questions about the food that we eat or anything like that just let us know but we'll see you guys soon are you ready i think so all right so we're gonna give a or we're gonna film a video on um what food we keep in the camper well i guess what food we eat and um we just went grocery shopping this weekend and we went to aldi the farmers market, Whole Foods, and Trader Joe's. So it was like a big. Um, and where? That where I play. That is where you play. <laughs> but um, so we got a bunch of groceries. So um, I was gonna show how we um store them in the camper and then what we keep to eat. So I eat a hundred percent plant based diet. Cody um, does not. Um, so. Um, and I, and I eat broccoli. And you eat broccoli. <laughs> um, Cody does not eat vegan or plant-based or anything, but our kind of our rule is is when he's here at the house, like those are the only options are vegan options. So, what? <laughs> Unless he brings it in, which I'm not a fan of. But so Hi. everything that we um, keep in the house is dairy-free, meat-free, all that kind of stuff. So. 
we're going to start with our fridge. Oh, for another thing is um, we have a freezer outside that we keep some of our frozen things in. So out there we have... Let's see, I have a couple bags of frozen pureed kale for smoothies, a bunch of frozen bananas, frozen broccoli, and then we have, um, let's see, I got a box of veggie burgers, and then I think I got a couple boxes of vegan chicken out there, and that should be all that's out there, because I think that's all I got this week. So, just some, like, they had vegan chicken on sale, so I bought extra, and then we keep it outside in the freezer, but this is what we have in the camper, so... In the door over here, we have vegan cheese and guacamole. We have the um, earth-grown vegan mozzarella from Aldi. And then this is the chow um, vegan sliced cheese. Uh, we get it at Walmart. And then these are just little guacamole mini cups. And then we have hemp seeds and barley grass juice powder. I have avocados. And then this is um, vegan Caesar dressing, barbecue sauce. Uh, organic ketchup, we have um, Thai peanut sauce, mustard, and then um, Asian ginger dressing. Uh, that is yellow mustard. That is yellow mustard. Alright, back up for a second. And, and, and then down here we have walnut, walnut milk. Walnut milk. And this is um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, orange juice, and then um, chocolate almond milk. And then this is some vegan ranch dressing. And then in our freezer, here, come over here. Ain't that a towel? Hold on. In our freezer, we have um, vegetable, or these are vegan pot stickers, a piece of vegan chicken, um, meatless meatballs. These are veggie burgers. Hold on, okay. These are veggie burgers. We have frozen cherries, frozen blueberries, and then some ice for smoothies. She don't want to show us something in there. And this towel, and this blueberry, and that petal. Yay, yogurt, yogurt. Yeah. Um, hold on, we gotta do one shelf at a time. So up here we have um, the silk dairy-free yogurt. Okay, so on this shelf we have um, dairy-free yogurt and a open mm -hmm. avocado. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> vegan butter. Yeah. We have jelly. These are some mm -hmm. black beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. pickles. Yeah, right. Hey, hold on just a second, okay? Cantaloupe, Cantaloupe cucumber. Just, <laughs> um, we have maple syrup, and then um, one organic tofu. We have um, roasted pine nut and red pepper hummus, blueberries, um, spring mix, celery for juices. Um, this is a thing of fresh organic figs that we just got today from Trader Joe's. Let's see. We have um, watermelon juice and pineapple juice that's already juiced. Um, this is Hawaiian spirulina. Back up. We have strawberries and then um, <laughs> baby wild arugula and um, applesauce down there. So that is all that is in our fridge and freezer. So this is our pantry, and in here we have, um, uh, these are some kind bars that Cody likes to eat. We have the blueberry and the peanut butter. We have some medjool dates because I need to make granola. Um, that's pre-workout. We have a couple and different and kinds and of peanut butter. We have, um, and, uh, and, and honey. Yeah, don't forget the honey. Um, we have coconut oil and then some almonds back there. And then on this shelf, we have, um, these are some of Sky's crackers. We have chia seeds, hemp seeds, these are graham crackers, nutritional yeast. These are some vegan barbecue chips. Um, we have some multi-grain uh, flax chips, some cereal, a uh, couple dates that are left over. Some uh, corn and, chips for and, soup. And, uh, we have some uh, acai yeah. powder for smoothies. Some more vegan barbecue chips. Um, these and, are peanut butter and, pretzels. And we have um, some pistachios. Mm -hmm. 
some walnuts. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the purely inspired um, plant-based chocolate protein powder. Some um, honey from a client of mine that lives down the road. Because you can hear it in the videos. Um, and this is some granola. So that's all that we have on that shelf. The bottom shelf is where we keep Sky snacks. So she has pouches and little fruit cups. Um, and then we also have a big bag of um, oatmeal. We have some uh, sun-dried tomato wraps that we get from Aldi. These are a couple bags of chips that I got today from Trader Joe's. And they're the popcorn chips. Um, we have whole wheat tortillas. And then in the back we have almond flour and organic brown rice and um, rolled oats from where I make um, homemade raw nutla with. So that's everything in this pantry. And this is like our main dry goods pantry. And then down here we keep like our canned goods and stuff. So down here we have some apple cider vinegar and regular vinegar that I use to make cleaner with and wash clothes. And then we have um, lots of rice, uh, pasta, vegetable broth, um, let's see, and then I love beans, so we've got tons of kidney beans and black beans and just any other canned goods that we need to make soups and stews and different things like that, so that is our little pantry. And then over here, this is where we keep like all of our fresh fruits when they come in, so we have apples. And avocados and we have a pineapple because we juice a lot we have some Saturn peaches we have apples we have some bananas we have a ton of bananas that are frozen so we really don't have to worry about stocking up on bananas right now a papaya and then on the bottom we have golden potatoes red potatoes and sweet potatoes what are these Avocados. These are avocados. Avocados. And then we have um, some uh, organic bread from Aldi and then some of Cody's bread down there. That's a papaya. 